in a quite old book, say of the 1920s, 1930s, I found a very, very interesting idea to make a tuning capacitor. And we know now that in 2005 uh, tuning capacitors are very, very expensive. But uh, when we go to this very old idea of, say, approximately 100 years ago, we could get good results. Uh, I want to use this whole setup in, an, uh, in a radio in the future, but anyway. So, what's the idea here? The idea is very, very simple. We have here a plate, a capacitor plate. And on the other side we have also a capacitor plate, but that plate is connected to the minus and the ground. And when we move this plate uh, upwards or downwards, say like a book, like a leaf, the capacitor capacitance will change opposite to the other plate, and that is the ground. So very, very simple idea. Uh, I tested it and I made a kind of first circuit and I could get quite a few good results. So, what's it all about? Here is that same idea. Uh, one plate is fixed, the other plate moves and uh, when the plates move together like a leaf, a leaf in a book, uh, the capacitance changes. I found good results. Let's go to the, the practical circuit on my workbench. So here it is how it all was made. Uh, I've used only tin plate here and this is also tin plate and here uh, say the front is tin plate but the other capacitor plate is isolated from the front that's logical of course and it is useful uh, when you make it in this way or when I make it in that way uh, to make a tuning the tuning of a local oscillator or an antenna call. Say, that's of course in the most ideal situation. And the whole idea is simple. Here we have a kind of thread. And here is a spring. I've made that spring in this way, but you can also use, say, another way of say uh, make it that the, there is a, a certain force moving to the uh, to the front anyway uh, this is one capacitor plate here and the other capacitor plate is purely the the ground and that's also the idea course when you want to use this as a kind of tuning capacitor for radio uh, well uh, in that case there must be a situation where both the antenna coil and the local oscillator coil are connected to ground otherwise you cannot use this here we see that spring action I, ha I had some, say, steel spring. Anyway, uh, let's look what this a simple idea out of the 1920s can bring us. The plates are here, uh, 9 centimeters here and here approximately, well, let's say 6 centimeters or so. Uh, and the ground plate is more or less endless, but anyway, 
let's look what this can bring. I'm now tuning that capacitor here via the knob and here we have a kind of uh, screw and say the the thread of the screw is responsible for the movement of that plate when it is pushed here via that spring to the front. So I turn and turn and turn and of course uh, this is a YouTube demo. Uh, it means that anyway uh, I have to do a kind of adaptation to the spring so that it can move completely here so that the plate here, that's what I mean, the plate here can move completely to the front. And then we have of course the highest capacitance. What's the highest capacitance? Let's read on the uh, capacitance meter what this is all about. So, I think it's now 100 picofarad. Well, that's not bad, of course. And I move now the plate. I do it in this way here, here. Turning that knob here. I move now the plate to the uh, uh, position where that plate has an quite big distance compared to the ground plate. And where are we now? Well, let's see. And you can surely see here that it's now on 50, approximately 50 picofarad. Let's go and try and My idea is I cannot go get lower than 50 picofarad, but turn that knob again here and let's see this knob here and let's see what hap what's happening in terms of uh, changing the capacitance. 50 picofarad now, well, we are now going to approximately when the plates get more fierce together, closer to each other, that's what I mean, we have here the end situation. And that end situation is here 100 picofarad. So we have a capacitor here that works between 50 picofarad and 100 picofarad perhaps 105 picofarad well it means that we can use this uh, tuning capacitor for short wave 50 200 picofarad well it's usable for short wave and also for a local oscillator and that's also the id of this whole say uh, 1920s set up here. This will be at least as my ID. I'm absolutely not sure that this will work, but anyway, uh, here is the uh, local oscillator capacitor, and here is the antenna capacitor that has, of course, to be connected to a proper high frequency stage. Well. Um, that was more or less all to tell. I think it is a very, very good idea out of the 1920s to make this kind of book capacitor. I turn it now here. Uh, the good idea is, of course, that you can fine tune here. That's the best idea. Uh, be, uh, uh, Regarding on the thread of the the bolt that you use, or not the bolt, but anyway. Um, so moving that plate again. Let's see again. We are in six 
the peak of our uh, turn and turn and turn and turn. <laughs> so I want to go to the compu my computer and all the say the now the capacitor plate is at its biggest move. Of course, you need here here <coughs> kind of isolation material because otherwise you have a shortcut between the ground plate and the capacitor. Uh, I've used here a piece of plastic. It does not fit exactly, but anyway. So 50 picofarad, 100 picofarad. Thanks for watching. Let's go to the how I made it. Perhaps it's interesting to show more. Uh, next video. Here is the front plate. Uh, the bolts. The bolts are say uh, soldered to the back side of the template. That's necessary, of course, because otherwise uh, we don't have the situation that we can move the capacitor plates completely to each other. And when we move them completely to each other, we have the highest capacitance. So, uh, here again, simple. You see the two thin plates. This is the uh, moving capacitor plate and this is the fixed plate and there is a reason that I connected that fixed plate to the ground because uh, it helps to avoid the so-called hand effect. So when you touch with your hand now the knob by tuning that uh, capacitor, there is no hand effect. Anyway, uh, how to solder, say, the two uh, bolts, bolts, yes, the bolts, not the nuts, to that uh, piece of template. Uh, scraped off, of course, all the oxidation and then solder it with some soldering fat. Is that the right word? Anyway, well, here again, how they are, this was soldered, and here, uh, of course, it's a rad it will be a radio, so we need a ground plate. So the front plate is now also connected to the plate connected to the ground. Um, here how that piece of plastic was used to get into a situation where the, the bolt uh, could not say uh, make a direct contact with that plate that moves on the inner side. So this is isolation material. Uh, here how I made say the fastening of that uh, of that spring anyway. So thanks for watching. I hope it was a little bit clear. Go again to that uh, situation. Uh, give more, say, overviews uh, to bolts that push the the plate uh, out and in, uh, causing, say, uh, a serious. Uh, different capacitance opposite to ground and I hope to make when it all will be uh, successful absolutely not sure it's electronics it's radio theory I hope to make a kind of simple radio with this setup 
Thanks for watching.